You're watching Sun TV, broadcasting to the world from studios in Providenciales, in the beautiful by Nature Tips and Papers Islands. Sun TV, your source for real news as it happens. I'm Tadlene Dafferlin, and thanks for watching this edition of Sun TV News. Police have officially ruled out robbery as the motive for the murder of businessman Robbie Bain. However, they said there was reason to believe there was a financial aspect to the murder, which was done execution style on Tuesday, March 4th this year, to the back of Bain's commercial and residential plaza in Grace Bay. Last Friday, the police held a press conference to give an update on the murder. They revealed, among other things, that they found the getaway vehicle, but they have no details whatsoever about the suspects. Superintendent Ira Baptiste, who is in charge of the CID, broke the news that robbery has been ruled out by the police since nothing was taken from 47-year-old Robbie Bain, who was shot multiple times while he was trying to enter his vehicle. From our investigation so far, the motive is not a robbery because nothing was taken from him. He was shot and the person who did it just simply walked away, got into the van and the van left the area. So we ruled out robbery. Assistant Superintendent Kendall Charles, who is the head of the Financial Crimes Unit, said there was financial aspects to the crime. In most cases, or most uh, crimes, there are some financial aspect to those particular crimes. As uh, my co colleague outlined, that uh, they don't think we don't believe that the, the the incident was actually a robbery. So we are looking at alternative uh, motives why this crime may have been committed, and we are also looking at the potential uh, financial aspect to it. So that's where my, my expertise may come in, in, in assisting with the investigation in terms of financial aspect. As the lead investigator has said that we are not limited to one particular focus. Uh, we are actually looking at all aspects of, the, of the, what may have transpired. And uh, possible, there might be, as I said, a possible financial as angle to it. Grant Lee Williams, who is the lead investigator in the case, said he believes someone saw something the night that Bean was killed, and he asked people to come forward with any information they may have. He also gave a description of the getaway vehicle. We think that the public, somebody might have seen something. Uh, somebody might have some information that we might be able to use to solve this crime. If you don't want to contact the police directly, you can always go to Crime Stoppers, or you can go to your local pastor, or anybody who you have trust and confidence in, and they can relay the information to the police. The make of the van is um, a Toyota High Ace, one of those um, family type vans. It's um, silver with some gray stripes on the side. Um, maybe someone might have seen a vehicle of a similar nature description in the area, and if they can. Um, if they would have seen anything that they think might assist the police, we are asking them to come forward. Inspector Williams said the security cameras captured the actual incident, but he said they cannot identify the individuals who did the killing. He also revealed that there was at least two persons involved in the shooting, a driver and a shooter. Yes, it captured the actual incident, but you cannot um, distinguish the individuals. You cannot make out the individuals who would have done it. Or obviously we would have gone and picked up those persons already. So um, we do have footage, but at the moment we were un unable to identify the individuals from the footage that we have. There are two persons at least, so there has to be a shooter and somebody else was driving. William said the police have not arrested or interviewed anyone as suspects, but they have recorded many statements from different persons. No, we haven't arrested anyone as suspects, so no one was interviewed as a suspect. We've questioned, we've recorded many witness statements. I don't have a figure of one right now, but we haven't arrested anyone as suspects, so no one was interviewed as a suspect at the moment. 
Inspector Hilton Duncan of the CID explained why police questioned several persons and will be questioning more. We have been doing the investigation, we are questioning people, and we are going mainly according to the rules, the judge's rules, which give us the permission to question anybody from whom we think useful information may be obtained. So that's where we are at the moment. We're basically questioning people to see what we can get to move forward. So we are entitled to question anyone. Even you, the journalist, one day, you never know, we may have to ask you some questions. Police press officer Audley Aswood said he is not aware that the public is criticizing the police for the way they are handling the investigation into Bain's murder. He was supported by Assistant Superintendent Charles, who said that as professionals, the police have to stay focused on the investigations, although they have to be mindful of the criticism. We are not aware that the public is criticizing the police and the way this investigation is being handled. This is news to me, and I'm quite sure it's been news to the commissioner. And if anyone have any complaints about how the investigation is done, there are avenues in which they can take to make sure that, but I can assure you that the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force remain committed. This was a heinous crime, and we are sparing nothing. Our main goal is to make sure that the persons who did this is brought to justice. We're not sleeping on this. We are working hard to bring the persons to justice. And I have complete confidence in my co-workers in the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force and the commissioner as leader. Yes, as police officers, uh, we are aware that there's instances when the public may not be in quite agreement with the police. We understand that we may have some criticism from the public. But as professionals, we have to be focused on the investigation and not be too minded about the criticism made by the public. So our focus now actually is for the investigation, the successful prosecution of this case, and not so much what the public is uh, actually thinking. Although we have to be mindful of maintaining uh, the public confidence in the police, but our focus should not only be on the, the criticism of the public, but on focusing on the investigation itself to bring this investigation to a successful con conclusion. Crime Stoppers spokesman Ian McLeod said the Bain family increased the reward amount by $35,000 and it now stands at $40,000, but he stressed that the family must sign an agreement to ensure that the funds are available. With an amount like that, we absolutely must uh, have the ability to deliver. So we need to come up with a firm uh, written agreement between the Bean family, make sure that these funds are kept in a, uh, in a special account so that they are available under our control, Crime Stoppers control, uh, in order to make uh, that payment. There also needs to be a time frame that those funds are going to be available, not ad infinitum. Uh, so that all has to be determined. We pay, as we said on this, for an arrest and charge. As the police can uh, attest, they, they definitely arrest people from time to time. Uh, and then release them subsequently after they've uh, continued their investigations and find that there, there's no reason to proceed. But when they're actually charged, that means the police have found evidence to, uh, that they need to uh, bring forward to court. Uh, and it's quite possible that the person will be, uh, uh, will be released afterwards, that the, the court or a jury will uh, find them not guilty. But that doesn't mean we will not pay. We do pay. Well, that's our Sun TV News Brief for today. Join us again tomorrow when we bring you real news as it happens directly to your computer, mobile device, or smartphone. If you know anyone living overseas who would like to keep up with what is happening in the Turks and Caicos Islands, get them to email us at sun at suntci.com so we can add them to our mailing list to get Sun TV News. Thanks for watching. I'm Tadlene Daverland.